Going to talk a little bit about property taxes today. It's going to be exciting. Hang on. Hey, welcome into the Real Estate Minute Show. Thanks for joining me again just for a few minutes today. We're going to talk about property taxes real briefly. I had a friend and client talk to me today about some questions he had about property taxes. And I get this question, um, I don't know, usually around this time, uh, August, September, October, because uh, tax bills come out in October in California, okay? So that's usually when they come up. People that have just bought a house with us over the last year or two call and say, hey, what the hell is this? So I thought it'd be a good idea just to hop on real quick and talk about property taxes, what to expect, what the bill looks like, what you need to do and what you should expect, especially if you just bought a house in the last year, okay? So property taxes, and this is for California, your state might be very similar, and this applies to most counties within this state. There's a couple few components to a property tax bill. And the first one is called millage rate. M-I-L-L-A-G-E rate, millage rate. By law, California can only charge you 1% of the assessed value of your house, okay? They're going to assess it and tell you what they think it's worth, and they're gonna apply a 1% charge on that, okay? In addition to that, they're gonna charge you all kinds of other bond debt that you voted on when you go to the polls every couple of years. You vote on things like a big infrastructure bond for new freeways and stuff. All that gets passed down to you on the property tax bill. That's another. Another one are also called special assessments, which are things like school fees and water sewer infrastructure fees, all kinds of little things. Mosquito abatement. Mosquito abatement is on there. And you go down the list, it'll have it on there. You're gonna get a big bill, it's about threefold, and it comes to you around October. Tax bill, taxes are due, kind of taking a step back, in California, taxes are due from a period of July 1st every year to June 30th. That's how they apply, middle year to middle year. They don't do January 1st to 1231, okay, like a calendar year. It's more, it's a fiscal type thing. It's July 1st to June 30th. Um, they don't send the tax bills out till around October, like I said earlier, so you're not going to know what you're paying until around that time. They give you two bills or two um, uh, installments to pay. You could pay it all in advance, you could pay it all up front if you want, or you could pay it in the two installments they give you, which is half and half. The first is due around December 10th. Uh, the second half is due around April 10th of that next year, plus or minus a couple days depending on weekends. And you're gonna get a long bill, it's gonna have everything on there, like I said, and on the bottom it's gonna have two little tear off tabs where you tear it off, you write a check, they even give you a free envelope um, and you just put a stamp and you mail it in, okay? Again, you can do it all in advance. You can do in the installments. I never like to pay in advance. I hate paying the government in advance, so I never do. But, uh, so take advantage of however, however you want. Here's what's interesting, though, and I want you to be aware of this, and this is the question that came up today with a, uh, with a friend of mine and comes up a lot, and that is if you just bought a house recently, like in the last year, your tax bill, the assessor might be behind schedule, and your tax bill you're going to get in October might be based on the old owner's assessed value, what they bought it for, plus, plus. You know, the, the state's allowed to increase your taxes by, by the way, as a side note, by 2% a year only. That 1%, they're allowed to increase that dollar amount by 2% a year going forward, which isn't much. It's just a two little, little fraction, kind of a cost of living increase. But uh, it might be based on the previous owner's uh, value. So for instance, let's say you bought something this year for $800,000 and around June 15th of this year, 2021, which it's about August, end of August of 2021 right now. The old owner paid $400,000 for it many, many years ago. You might get, because it was such close in time between your clothes and when the tax bills get calculated and mailed out, you might get a tax bill based on that 400000 Okay, You owe that. It'll have the two stubs and you pay it on schedule like you're supposed to. However, they will, the tax man will always find you or the tax woman will always find you. That difference between the $400,000 and the $800,000 that you paid for the house, that $400,000 difference, you're going to get a bill for. And you're also gonna get the ability to pay it in two installments. They might be different dates on those, but it's called a supplemental property tax bill. It specifically will say supplemental on top. That means they're billing you for the difference between what the old owner's value was and what you paid for it, okay? And you owe that as well. Don't be shocked. When you get that bill, that's usually when we get the phone calls from clients that have just bought with us over the last year or so. They said, oh my God, what is this? I'm double paying. You're not. They're just, they're making it straight with you, essentially the assessor. All right, hope that helps. If you have any questions, shoot them in here because I usually get comments to these kinds of videos that are more kind of the niche niche type videos because they're, they're, they're things like what this show is about. This show was started about 15 months ago to tell you about the little niche kind of things that are going to cost you money or save you money that maybe your agent or somebody else never told you about that you should know in advance so you kind of know what to expect. Have a great week and we'll see you next week on the show. Thanks for giving me five minutes and 13 seconds of your time. I'm sorry that it was over by a couple minutes. We usually like to do these in three. Take care.
See you next week.